All right, all you beautiful people out there, here we are again. Don't know why you keep coming back. You must be a glutton for punishment. But today is one of my all-time favorites. Today we are going to be reviewing. It doesn't even need to be reviewed. It's awesome. Ghost Town Barber by Chisel Face Crematorium. This is probably my favorite barbershop scent right now. I mean, there's a close couple seconds there, but this has its own take. And yeah, you smell the Old West. You smell gunpowder, a little bit of leather, maybe even a hint of gun oil. But it's all under, underneath the, uh, the base of the, the barbershop scent. So I love barbershop scents, one of my favorite scents. And this is right now my favorite barbershop scent. Uh, I want to order a couple, I want to try Holy Cows, Jamestown Gentlemen. I want to order uh, Sterling's. I know Sterling's makes a really good barbershop. But, so we'll be using that soap. Uh, again, we'll finish off with Chisel Face Ghost Town Barber. Uh, I'll be using my Workhorse Omega Boar Hair 119. And since this is September, we will be using Single Edge September with my Gem Featherweight. Again, this is one of my sweet $5 finds I found. You can't go wrong with it. And the blade in there is a gem blade. Um, so we'll be doing that. So what are we going with? We can start an um counter because I know I say um a lot. So let's, let's try to stop that, please. What we got going on, we'll do the three lathers, three shaves, followed by the post shave. Just give a quick feel. I have uh, two days worth of growth. Just got a shower, so... The uh, walrus whiskers are uh, out of control. I'll wet the face and get started. We'll try to keep this short and sweet. Brush has been soaking for, I don't know, five, ten minutes in the scuttle. We'll give this thing a typical ten second load. One, two, three. So the 10 second load, oops, you can see it's already doing what it needs to do. Um, since I like to be a princess sometimes, I'll use my, my warm scuttle and we'll give it a minute load up in there and see how it comes out. Look at that lather. Mm. Just cover up my ugly mug. I mean, you. Tons of lather. And that's my gold standard. Give it a 10 second load of one minute lather, see how it works. Uh, I do face lathers every once in a while. Probably should do more, but. Got a little soap on my hands, get a little pre-shave going. Let's see where, the, let's load up the face. Oh, the scent. It just explodes on you. It's definitely a stronger scent. Scent strength. Eight. Eight and a half. It's a strong one. But, since I'm such a fan, I definitely like a strong scent. This again, this is my favorite scent right now. 
cushion. I mean, it's got a good heavy lather, but not being so it's not too watery, it's not too dry. I mean, you can see, I can just slap my face. Maybe there'll be a new test, the face slap peak test. <clears throat> All right, start this sweet baby. Yeah, cushion's an eight. It's soft. Slickness. Post post shape slickness. It's it's slick. You can do multiple passes without feeling it. So right now we're at eight and a half, eight. Yeah, it's it's a performer. So since this is September, what's your favorite straight edge? Or single edge, so to speak? Right now, the gems are the one I've tried. I've just ordered some blades for my uh, chick injectable. I've heard good things. So we'll see how that comes out. But overall, I can't complain. I mean, I, I love shaving with antiques now. All right, pass one, done. Taking a bunch down. Can't tell if I nick myself or it's a weeper. All right, go with pass two. All So what I found myself doing is uh, I get deeper and deeper into this rabbit hole is that I bought a bunch of D, D razors that I like, I really like them, but I've got so many now that I'm strictly searching for like rare finds in antique stores. Uh, and now all I want is vintage and I'm looking for, I saw two fat boys. But they didn't seem like they were working right, so and they wanted thirty bucks for them, so I passed on them. But I'm looking for like Fat Boys, Red Tips. I found an Aristocrat for a deal I couldn't pass up. It looked a little rougher than it was. It seriously took me ten minutes with a toothbrush, and it looked almost new with minor wear. Minor wear. But what are you guys doing? Are you guys looking to uh, only in um, antiques now, or are you still looking at new ones like the McCur Future things of that nature? Let me know in the comments below why did oh yeah can't talk let's try this again against the or cross screen
hopefully this weekend it's halfway decent. I live in North Carolina and luckily for me there's a place I can take my Jeep on the beach and go camping on a little island but I have to pay a ferry to get me there. But if I do that, we'll be doing some beach shaving. I've seen a couple guys do it. It looks like fun. Uh, probably be using my... Who will I be using? Oh, Hawaii Shave Company. I'll probably use those. Just beach Hawaii. That's real original there, Nathan. Real original. All right. Third pass against the grain. And do me a favor, hit the like button. Otherwise, I don't know if you guys hate these. I'll hit the dislike button if you don't like it. But if you do, I would expect a reason why you don't like it. Common courtesy. Help me improve. Guys at my work just found this out, so they're having a field day. And if any of my guys are watching this, you better be working. Or you better be at home watching this. And if you're watching this at home, you need to get out more. Alright. Third and final pass against the green. Money pass. This just flies effortlessly. It's not even there sometimes. So I got myself a little bit. All right, I'll rinse off. We'll be right back. I really like that the scent, the scent is still there. Well, let's let's clean this up a little bit, guys. Let's not look crazy. Shaver's best friend and worst nightmare. The styptic pencil. Alright. Let's throw on a little aftershave and I'll get my final thoughts. The good thing about this too is I'll get lifts of this all day long. Even if it starts to fade, I don't know what it is about this scent or if it's that strong when nobody's telling me, but the thing is I'll turn my head quickly throughout the day and be like, oh yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm wearing that one. So it's a good one and it's it's a manly scent. It's good. Um, overall, eight and a half out of 
out of 10. I don't think I've ever given anything a 9 or a 10. I'm very, I'm really 6 to, to 8 and a half. 8 and a half is my gold stain. I mean, that's, this is what I judge everything by right now. Uh, you probably won't see me. Sorry, I caught myself doing it again. You won't see me do a bad review, probably because why am I going to waste my time on that? There's a million products out there that are awesome. I, if, if I don't like a product, that doesn't mean it's not good for you. Again, this product is how I rate it on this face. Mmm, this beautiful face. It, it, sorry, sorry. So, it's how I rate it on my face, my whiskers, my water conditions. There's a ton of variants there. What works for me may not work for you. Uh, the scents, again, if you like a masculine, very machismo, very like take take the bull by the horn scent, this is for you. If you don't, you're more of a floral guy, I would advise staring clear of this one. But all in all, right now my favorite soap is the uh, Ghost Town Barber. So we'll go with that. Solid eight and a half. And make sure you like this. Make sure you like this video. Make sure you subscribe. Uh, if, if I get more subscribers, I'll start updating the content a little more rapidly, a little more, give you some more stuff. Possibly, next video will be a um, review of Dub Stash Wax, Stash Cream, and we'll see how that comes out. Till then, everybody stay sharp. Alright, as promised, we're going to do a How to Style a Handlebar Mustache with Dub stash cream. So, this stuff's really good. Uh, unfortunately, I haven't been using it a lot lately, but as you can see, I've used a lot. It's good hold. I, I would leave it in three, four days possibly, and it'll hold. I haven't used it in a few months because I've had a bunch of other uh, waxes to try. And honestly, I've been finding myself sticking to got to be glued because I can wash it out at the end of the day. I, I found a good hold pattern, a, a good way to curl it. Uh, check out my other videos on how to style handlebar mustache with got to be glued. Brain's not functioning today. So what we're going to do, we're going to get into it, and then I'm going to start styling the mustache. Um, I'm going to do it with a dry mustache. I've washed everything out clean palette. I'm not sure if I should, yeah. I'm going to take a, uh, a hair dryer tube real quick, get it where I want it to be before I start going at it. Also, actually, I'll re it. Alright, scratch all that. Let's start over. How you doing, everybody out there? Good to see you, all you mustache and friends of mine. Today, we're going to be reviewing Dub Stash Cream. So it's a great one. Uh, one of the reasons I like it so much is that it doesn't seem to pull as many whiskers out as uh, some of the, the competition grades. Like, I love Canadian Redneck, but it does tend to pull more whiskers when I'm putting it in. And as you can see, I, I have used a lot of it. I just haven't used a lot of it in the last couple months because I've been trying Canadian Redneck Mod Cabin. I've got a bunch of samples in to try, and I like them all. But what I find myself grabbing to right now is the got to be glued, which if you haven't seen, I've got a video on there on how to do it, so it'll help. The only reason I like the got to be glued is you can wash it out every night. It doesn't really pull and tug on the hair, so you don't really lose them. I don't have the most dense mustache as some of, the, some of you gentlemen out there have. But, so, like, when I lose a hair, it scares me. Although I've been growing this thing for November, about eight months, and it's pretty sweet. But, that's why I tend to stay away from the waxes unless I'm going into a competition. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wet my whiskers, dry it with a hair dryer. Actually, I'm going to wet it, put in a little bit of oil to help get the whiskers where they need to go. And then I'll come back with the, uh, with the dub sash cream and actually form it to where I want to. So let me wet it, and you'll hair dryer, I'll mute the sound, blah, 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 you don't care. And we'll be using the, uh, if I can get the focus, the Mod Cabin 
beard oil. It's got a good scent to it. Honeysuckle. So it's, it's a nice little scent. So what I'll do is I'll put a little on my hands. Actually, I have one on my fingertips. So get a little on my fingertips. And then just run it through. Yep, definitely honeysuckle scent. It reminds me of running through a forest as a child. Alright, let's go on. We went through the forest to find that old stack of Playboys hidden by some creepy old dude. You know what I'm talking about, you found them. Alright, that took a left turn. So from there, we'll actually style it a little bit with a, a little bit low heat on the hair dryer and a curling brush. I'm sure you've all seen this before, so I'll fast forward, turn the volume down so I don't blow your eardrums out. And here we go. So I've seen this a couple different ways people have used this. They've either just rolled a ball and used it like a crayon and just kind of pasted it in. I've seen people try to emulsify it with their fingers. I try to emulsify it with my fingers and I just clipped my fingernails so this should be really interesting. But the thing is it's not like your typical wax. It's a strange consistency. It's like a dry Play-Doh. Let's go with that. Dry Play-Doh. But we'll start with about the size of a pea and then just, just work it in just so it softens up. And the good thing about this too is once it does dry, if you once you put it in you see specks, they, they clear out. So just barely touch because we're going to do a couple layers, right? So you just want to barely touch and just try to get all the hairs. And you'll see certain hairs start clumping together. And what we do for that is I'll bring the hair dryer out and I'll heat up my uh, mustache comb. But yeah, it's already, this will probably be a two pass deal, but it's already starting to curl. And actually, owner. Oh, ho, 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 yeah, look at that. Get some length on it. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, see, look. Can you see it? One hair. Gone. But it happens. They're going to fall out. You're going to fall out. You're going to fall out? No. Oh, mustache comb is here. Oh, so cute. All right. Hair dryer warning. Two. Again, about the same size. Again, your mustache will vary. Just you get the overall gist of what we're trying to do here. And I'll show you my secret weapon for mine. Alright, so. I don't know why. Those just want to jump out like some kind of crazy hairs. 
get you boys under control. Oh, look at that English. Length. Hmm, so for a year, we've got about that much. Not bad. And I'm more about getting one complete rotation with a good three quarters of an inch, inch and a half. That's a hell of a difference. Gap. So let's just twist it out. And what I use to get my uh, actual roundness is an old pill bottle. And what I do is I'll just curl that around. And the thing about the old pill bottle is you can see through it. And then I'll take the hairdryer and I'll use the cool setting, the, the cool blast setting, and just try to freeze it in place. So the actual freeze button, cold, cold air button. And you can see I'm starting to lose some already. So let's just pat that into place. Let's try it again. Because my handlebars want to curl really bad. They're, they want to pigtail out. So I don't know how well this is going to keep it. But we'll give it a chance. So it's a good handlebar. But see, you can already see it's starting to try to twist in. So we'll come back, that, come back to that throughout the day. We're going to do the other side. I'll do it in fast forward since we've talked through this. We've been through this. You don't need to listen to my mouth. Go blah, 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 blah. All right, here we go. Super fast.